Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Thankfully, big blowouts happen very, very rarely. The last big one happened in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010, about 11 years ago. 11 people lost their lives, unfortunately, and a huge amount of oil was spilled into the ocean. It was particularly problematic that the huge platform sank after the explosion, leaving an open borehole on the seafloor at about 1,500 meters depth, and it gushed crude oil continuously into the sea. Many people wonder if we could not simply close such a borehole somehow on the seafloor with a pinch or something, but a closer look shows that none of that will really work. If we close the borehole at the top, then it will stay under pressure all the time and as such pose a risk to the environment. If we want to close a damaged borehole in an environmentally sustainable manner, we need to use another drilling rig to drill a new well to hit the damaged borehole as deep as possible in the ground. Using two drilling rigs will yield a greater chance of success than one. So now we drill a new borehole kilometers deep to target the damaged borehole at its lower end. This is not so easy at all. To demonstrate the challenge, please look at this picture. Imagine you're flying in an airplane at an altitude of 6,500 meters. Drilling a relief well corresponds approximately to the task of drilling a well from the plane to hit a small roof gutter of a house. You will agree this is a big challenge, but drilling engineers are trained to manage such tasks. When we see that our relief well is about to hit the damaged borehole, we fill it with a very special heavy drilling mod, also called the Q-mod. As soon as we hit the damaged well, we start pumping the Q-mod through the relief well into the damaged borehole. Initially, some of the Q-mod will be easily carried away by the oil flow from the reservoir. But as more of the Q-mod accumulates in the damaged borehole, the more difficult it becomes for the oil flow to push the heavy Q-mod ahead of it. At the end of the seafloor, we notice that less and less oil exits the borehole until the blowout finally comes to an end. We want to demonstrate this in our little experiment here. In the middle, we have our damaged hole. Our blowout fluid is a red cherry juice here. It is fed into the system through the hose on the right. When we put the cherry juice into the cup, it flows through the hose and comes out at the top of the damaged hole. This is our blowout. On the other side, we have installed a mug and a hose which is filled with heavy banana juice. Clearly, this is our relief well. The connective valve between the damaged well and the relief well is initially closed. Now we start our blowout by pouring the red juice into the system. We can see it dripping out from the damaged hole onto the glass bowl. So then we open our valve to allow the heavy banana juice to flow through the relief hole into the system. As we continue, we can see very clearly how more and more of the banana juice is rising in the damaged borehole, and the dripping of the damaged borehole is gradually reducing until the blowout finally stops. I hope we have been able to demonstrate that drilling engineers are capable of performing pretty challenging drilling operations. We can explain everything in detail in such a short time. But if you are interested in learning more about this, come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.